Looking for a side hustle to make more money in 2021? Maybe you got a lot of time, but you just don't know what to do. Or, you know, there's so many options. Where do you where do you start? What do you how do you figure it out? Don't worry, I got your back. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today's video is best side hustles to make more money in 2021. Let's jump in. So I'm gonna share with you the top three that I found that a lot of my clients have been doing on the side of what they're doing, or I have friends or family that's actually creating some side hustles on their own. And this is part two of our three video series in, of side hustles, but I wanna jump into the specifics of it because I'm seeing this happen for a lot of people because let's be honest, with COVID-19 happening and everything, people are losing their job, their hours are getting cut back, or maybe they are now working from home, but they're working their butt off. They're working even more and they want to have maybe some people that you have time and maybe some people you don't have time and you want to get time back by creating a side hustle to leave what's sucking away all your time and so I want to share with you my top three and then from there I'll give you one extra one because as I talked about in my previous video is it worth creating a side hustle in 2021 if you haven't watched it go back and check it out but the long and short is yes and you also gotta figure out what do you want? Like what's the life that you want? Master Life by Design is about creating the life you want and not having life control you. And so with that being said, I'm all under the philosophy of how can I make money anywhere in the world? Whether you're at your home, whether you're in Hawaii, in Europe, or traveling anywhere in the world, how can you make money? And so I wanna give that to you today. So with that, let's jump in. The first one that I see a ton of people doing in 2021 that I started doing actually personally in the beginning of this year was trading. So there's two types of trading, right? There's day trading or you know trading stocks, should I say, because you could do day trading, swing trading, or long trading, right? But I would, I'm, when, when I talk about this video, we're talking about ways that you can make money on a monthly basis to get money coming in, right? Like that's what we're after. And so you could trade stocks, right? You could be able to trade stocks. I know I jumped into Tesla at all different ranges. I lost some money, I made some money, right? I jumped into Churchill Capital when they were only $18 a share, and then they partnered with Lucid or they had a merger and then it went to $60 a share. I didn't sell, but now it's down to 28. <laughs> should have pulled it. But if you were you know, trying to take income and create income as a side hustle, you would have sold at 60. I'm more of a long-term hold type guy in certain situations. Not always, but some. So with that, you, know, you could do trading stocks and there's a lot of courses out there I can recommend to you guys. Be careful, there are a lot of scammers out there, but you want to learn, are you more of the fundamentals or more of technical? Technical is probably more of the way you wanna go for you know, short-term gains and whatnot. The other thing I started doing in a lot of my clients is cryptocurrency. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, those are my two big ones. Uh, I'm more heavy in Ethereum than Bitcoin, although they say Bitcoin is the gold. But I have friends that are trading it, right? They're trading on the, you know, they're buying on the dips and then they're selling on the ups. Bitcoin, depending on how much you want to play with, you can make a lot of money quickly, right? Like it was just at, as at the time I'm making this video, last night, they actually had it at, Bitcoin hit $60,000 a coin. Well, imagine if you, and then it dropped this morning when I woke up, it was at 55,000. Now it's back up to uh, 60 or 58,000. So if you had an entire Bitcoin and you bought in at 55,000 at the dip, you would have made $3,000 if you sold it right now, right? And so a lot of you out there that are watching, you know, like three grand pays my bills or maybe three grand pays half your bills. Like trading is a good way to do that. Now you gotta have money to make more money, right? We all heard that old adage, you gotta have money to make money, right? And that is completely true in this situation. But trading can be a great way. I remember many years ago when I was in network marketing and I was in Amway, me and my buddy Brian James, we went to Brazil. And I won't talk about Brazil because that's between us, but it was a great time and I highly suggest that you go, especially if you're single. But with that being said, we were out one night and you know we were just connecting with people and especially if they're American, right? And they spoke English, it was really cool to talk with them. And so <clears throat> one night we're having a drink and we met this guy and we're like, well, what do you do? You know, where are you from? And he's like, I'm from New York, but I, I live here six months out of the year. And we're like, really? I was, my ears perked up. I was like, really? I'd love to live in Brazil, you know, Rio for six months. And I asked him, so what do you do? He's like, I day trade. 
And he's like, I, I do great, I follow my principles. And it hit me, I was like, that sounds so cool. Now the learning is a whole nother thing, but what a lifestyle gives. He can go anywhere in the world, as long as he, you know, he fo follows his fundamentals and he has internet connection and a laptop, he can make money anywhere. So the first one is trading. You may want to think about, you know, am I interested? Does that really interest me? Do I want to research companies? Do I want to look at the data? Do I want to look at, you know, what is a stop loss? What is support? What is resistance? How do I know when to buy and sell? It's like, ah, right? But you got to know your outcome. And is that the type of lifestyle that you want? The second thing is, is what I love and that is coaching. Coaching is so powerful to me because <clears throat> Coaching saved my marriage before me and my wife started dating. I remember I was, uh, after I got cheated on, I kind of went into studying relationships and this and that. And I went to a Tony Robbins event and I met my wife. I didn't know it at the time, but I just thought I met this gorgeous girl. And, <laughs> and I'll tell you, I, I was getting to know her, right? We were Facebooking, then we started texting, then we started FaceTiming. And at the time she was talking to someone, nothing serious, right? Like they both were able to date anyone else that they wanted, but for the time being, they were just hanging out and he wasn't really what she ultimately wanted. And, you know, but she wanted him to be and it just wasn't working out. And I remember I was at the beach one day with family and I just got caught up in my head. I lived in San Diego, she was in the Bay Area and I was like, how is this even gonna work? Am I am I going to be able, like she gonna leave her family, all of her friends, leave her career that she's doing up there to come meet some guy that she's never hung out with yet in San Diego, moved down here because I was in grad school at the time and you know, building out my coaching business. I was like, that, oh, I just got in my head. And so I, I reach out to my coach. I asked if we could do a quick call. And I remember she asked me a question. She said, Joe, what do you want? And I said, this is after I you know, vomited everything I just share, shared on you, but in more detail to her. And she said, what do you want? And I said, I want her. And she's like, then why don't you go get that? And it's like a light bulb went off. It's like all the excuses, the victimness went out the window. And I was like, I'm going after my girl. And guess what? I got her. And now we, li you know, we live in a you know, beautiful community. We built a home, we built a family. Like life is amazing. Sure. We have challenges. We get into it and you know, family challenges and all these different things that life throws at all of us, right? Just because you're watching me on this video doesn't mean like our life is perfect. We have an amazing life, but we also have the same problems as you. And so I want you to know, I'm not here to share with you my highlight reel. I want to keep it real with you guys because you go through the same things I go through and vice versa. And so, but coaching can be powerful. Maybe you have a gift to help people. Maybe there's something that you want to share with the world. Maybe you want to be a bright light for someone. Coaching can be that path. And so if you, and I'll tell you this, if you want to go to coaching schools or figuring out what degree that you might want to get in order to become a coach, even though you don't need that in today's time, but depending on your path and the work that you want to do, I can help guide you. So go ahead and you can reach out to Joe at masterlifebydesign.com or you can comment below and we can be able to share with you and point you in the right direction based on what your goals are. But as a bigger view, I want to zoom back out and just say coaching can be a great way to create a side hustle. So maybe you work your nine to five, but you really love helping, you know, parents, you know, through the pro the first, you know, year and a half of raising a child. That is not easy. How many of my parents out there that are watching know that raising kids the first couple of years is not easy. In fact, we just hired a nanny last week to help us give us 20 hours of our life back to be able to build our business and be able to connect with each other and do the things that we need to do as a family or to be able to pour more into our coaching business. And so coaching is a great way and you can do it anywhere in the world. That's the cool part. You can create courses from there. Um, there's so much that you can do, but coaching is a great way. You can do that through marketing or would it not. So that's the second way. The third way is to become some online specialist, right? To become some online specialist. Why? Because with Corona, the coronavirus and COVID-19 that, you know, just wiping jobs away or keeping people at a distance, you know, a lot of things went online, Zoom, and now people need like a virtual assistant. What else did I write here? People are building their businesses now. They're like, now's the time to build our business, right? Coaching business or whatever it might be. 
So you gotta get out there on social media. People gotta find you. How do they know you have a business if they can't find you? I know word of mouth is great and we get a lot of business by refer our clients referring people to us, right? Because look, you don't get referred business if you don't help people get results, right? And so we get a lot of word of mouth, but we're also starting to get on our social media platforms. We're here on YouTube, right? And so have it becoming a social media expert or creating a digital marketing agency could be one. Creating a media company, helping people record videos like this one right here. That's huge. Now I have a, a friend of mine out here, Brandon Fisher. He is, uh, he's, he does this for a living. And so, you know, you might be able to do something like that for people, record weddings for people. There's so many opportunities that you could do or maybe just editing videos, right? Whatever that is, there's a lot of opportunities to become an online specialist. And honestly, the easiest way is to be a virtual assistant, helping people be able to manage their schedules or, you know, get emails set up or go through emails or whatever it might be. Becoming an online specialist is a great way to create that laptop lifestyle, baby, you, where you can earn money anywhere in the world. And if you're single, how cool would it be to be on the beaches of Hawaii with your laptop or at a resort and be able to earn income? Like, how awesome is that? Or just be on the phone and be able to help coach people through their challenges and to create those breakthroughs so that people are like, man, you know what? You know what, John? You know what, Steve? Thank you. Jessica, you changed my life. Stephanie, I couldn't have done this without you. Like how amazing would that feel? And so that's a side hustle that you could start right now without, do, you know, while creating your job or, or not creating your job while doing your job, you have that ability to create that side hustle to make more money in 2021. And now's the best, the best time, right? Because again, I said it earlier, with coronavirus, you know, jobs going virtual, people working from home, it's now more than ever people need help too. And so you could be that online specialist, you could be that virtual assistant, that social media expert, that digital marketing agency, that media person, that editor, whatever it might be, you have that ability. All right, so those are my top three ways. Now, you might be saying, Joe, I'm not really much of a coach, right? I certainly wouldn't trade because I don't have money or maybe you just don't wanna do that and that's fine too. Or maybe you're just like, I don't wanna do online specials. I'm not a tech person, computer, cell phones, eh, like that's not, you know, that's not for me. What else can you do? Well, I'll give you one that I found a lot of people, I've seen on social media, a lot of people doing this and creating a lot of extra income to close the gap or even to get ahead in their life. And this is one that you could do anywhere in, I think the world, but definitely in the US, you could do it pretty much anywhere, but even in your own hometown. And that is, you can drive for Uber. You could do DoorDash, you could do Lyft. Those are three incredible companies that you can do just in your own backyard to help other people out, create an income. Now there are certain per, you know, precautions you gotta take, wearing a mask, hand sanitizer, people getting in and out of the car. If you feel comfortable with that and you're okay with that, then awesome. But if you're not, you may wanna look at maybe some of the online ways, but this is a great way to make money in your backyard. And I know a lot of people that are doing it, they're making good income and I, I hear, I don't know, but I heard Lyft has the greatest promotions and you can make the most out of it. I don't know if that's true, I've never done it, never signed up for it. I don't even think I've ever used Lyft, maybe once or twice, I'm not sure. But those are some really great ways to make some income here and to create a side hustle in 2021. And with that, if you're looking to make extra money, you gotta understand, this is gonna take time. And if you're doing something online, it's gonna time, you gotta be consistent with it. It's not gonna be easy, right? It's never easy to get something started. It's like a rocket ship. You know, I'll use my water bottle, here's my rocket ship. It takes a lot of fuel to give it, to get it to blast off. But once it does, guess what? All of a sudden, that thing starts rolling, right? You start rolling. Maybe you're an assistant and maybe you got some people, you have someone that you need to book calls for them and you get the calls booked and then they're like, hey, can you do my email? Cause you did a great job and you do the email. And then they're like, hey, can you, you know, can you, I don't know, buy my airline tickets. And then all of a sudden they're like, hey, I got a friend. Would you mind doing them? Do you have the time? And, and you might just start over time building up clientele. And so you gotta make sure that you're okay putting time in. And so if you have a family, what kind of time, how much time do you have? That What do you wanna build? Maybe you wanna build an online YouTube channel. I don't know, I think it's great because you could do so many fun things, you know, like be able to coach people. You could be able to provide courses for people, affiliate marketing. There's so many things you could do with YouTube, but what's your outcome? 
What do you want? Because that's the question. We all want different things. What do you want? How do you want to master life by design for you? How do you want to take control of your life and not let have life take control of you in your life? And you do that by getting really clear. Hey, you know what? I work my nine to five, but I want to be able to spend time with my family. But from eight to 1030, I can work on a side hustle. Great. You could drive for Uber. Maybe your partner stays home. Maybe you don't do that. Maybe you actually become a virtual assistant and you do something like that or social media or you edit videos like for YouTube people. Whatever that is, graphic designer, who knows? But you got to get clear and you got to get clear on what's your time commitment. Here's my advice to you. Pick one. Pick something that aligns with your outcome and what you want to do, how much money you want to make. Calculate that out. But pick one thing. Don't be jumping from one thing to the next. You being an Uber driver, starting a YouTube channel, you know, being a virtual assistant. Pick one to become a master in. Don't dabble in many. Focus on one and become a master at that. Put your time, energy, and attention. Be consistent with it because you'll get far more rewards in the long run. Okay. And then also you might sit there and be like, Joe, you know, I you know, I only have a limited time. Figure out how much time you have right but be consistent with it you're going to have to sacrifice something time with family sleep or maybe you know your favorite television show whatever that is you're gonna have to sacrifice something but maybe when you find yourself first starting something you might find that you're excited at the beginning but then your excitement drops and you're like I don't know if I want to do this and your follow through starts to slip. So I highly encourage you to watch our video or the video that I done that's called how to follow through on anything consistently so that you don't just start and then stop. And then you're like, all right, start and then stop. No, we want it to be consistent. We want things to roll. If you're trying to market yourself, your business, your side hustle to make extra money, you got to be consistent and you got to be good at what you do and be consistent in your work. So make sure you're consistent. So check out that video on how to follow through on anything consistently because that is going to help you with uh with following through and mastering and making that extra income so with that if you guys found value in this video please go ahead and like it hit that thumbs up button make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're doing three videos a week yes i know it's a lot but we want to add massive value to you and help you break through get to that next level and so subscribe let us know and if you do subscribe comment say i subscribed i want to be able to give you a shout out on our next video and then from there make sure that you share this video if you have someone that you know that's looking to create a side income or could use some extra money through a side hustle uh, here in 2021 because now is the best time ever with everything going virtual and I even gave you guys some opportunities when you want to just stay in your own backyard. So with that, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out our next one, our next video on this three-part series and we will pick up on our next video. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.